Welcome back. Before we start building reports, let's talk briefly about what reporting is and why it's important. So firstly, what is reporting? Reporting is the act of organizing data into visual and informative summaries in order to observe and understand how different aspects of a business or organization are performing. So whether that is tracking the workload per team member, estimated versus actual spending for budgeting, or how many leads were closed and who closed the most. Now, why is reporting important? The ability to effectively report can have powerful impacts on any workplace. It allows us to see the bigger picture, draw insights about your organization, department, or team in order to make more data-driven decisions, and identify areas of challenges or areas of opportunity in order to constantly optimize your work and improve. You will be able to catch inefficiencies in any process, gain insight into your team, and catch any bottlenecks and more. So who needs reports? Reports can be made for a variety of people or reasons, some of which include personal reasons, team level, multiple teams or department level, multiple sites or offices, and on an organization level. Now that we've recovered what reporting is and who can benefit from it, let's discuss how to incorporate it into your workflow. We often receive requests from users looking for help building reports on their already built out boards. Depending on the workflow, Sometimes the report they want to set up is already possible, and other times their workflow isn't structured in a way to be able to create those reports. Therefore, we recommend before building any workflow that you already think about the metrics you want to report on and then build your boards from there. By thinking about what kind of reports you'll need from the start, you'll be able to build your board in a way that supports such reporting needs and include the appropriate columns to showcase that data. So essentially, any metric you want to see in a report needs to also appear on your board. So start with the larger picture and then work through the details. Before building a board, ask yourself these questions to help you better define your reporting needs. So who will be viewing and analyzing this report? Knowing your audience is important as you want to make sure you're displaying the data in a way that makes sense to them. For example, are you wanting to use the report for personal use to see how you're doing and achieving your goals? Or is it for a manager to see how a team or department is performing? What are you looking to achieve with this report? Understanding what you're looking to gain out of the report is necessary to guide you to display the most relevant information. So are you looking to create predictions for the future, such as expected spending or desired performance? Or are you trying to understand the breakdown of the data? So how much money was spent per project, maybe which social media channels produced the most leads? Or are you trying to recognize a better way to manage your team's resources? Where is the data coming from? As we explained earlier, Reporting is something that should be thought about even before building your boards, meaning you can ensure that the data you want to see in your dashboard is available in the board and in the right format. From when or which time frame are you looking to measure data? It's important to consider a limited and defined time frame, so maybe like the past week, month, quarter, or year, on which you like to report. Otherwise, reporting on a large or vague range of dates like the last few years can negatively impact the insights you are able to pull from the report. Lastly, why are you looking to create this report? So what out outcomes are you looking to get from the insights received from the report? This question is like an extension to the what question from earlier by thinking about the desired outcomes for the future of your organization. So some examples of what this could look like include improving future budget planning, working more efficiently as a team, getting higher customer satisfaction ratings, or converting more leads into customers. To learn more about how reporting fits into the best practices for building workflows in money.com, 
We recommend checking out the Building Workflows in Monday.com course in the Monday Academy. Now, join us in the next chapter as we go over some of the basic building blocks that can be used for building your reports.